Why not? <laughs> I have them on auto host. I have a few on auto host. They just happen to be on. H12 and Friends is live streaming gaming talk shows. It still says Podcast 64. <laughs> Alright, 21%. Come on, updates. Come on, updates. <laughs> okay, so we're good to go here. Okay. In three, two, one, go. Okay, we're live. Okay, are you ready? I guess. Okay. Hello, this is H Bob and Friends, episode 111. 200 away from 311. Ember is the color of your energy. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm Harold the H Bomb Price, and joining me, my running mate, Jared. Video games are video games, whether yeah. they're black or white, or I don't care. Price current up 2016! Except Jared's too young to be vice president. <laughs> Anyway, games and stuff. What have you been playing, Jared? Um, it's kind of been a weird week. Um, uh, I've been playing just various odds and ends. Um, well, it's on the top of our list. Let's talk about Rock Band Rivals. It's still Rock Band. It's still really, really way too addicting for its own good. Even more so now. Um, but yeah, I love, I love the rifles mode. I love getting the crew together. If only we get a, if only we get a full crew. We still have openings on both the H, both crews on, um, both on Xbox One and PS4. Of course, Jared's not even on the PS4 group. Yeah. I do have Jared's little brother. <laughs> All the good that does me. <laughs> but I but I like the weekly challenges. I like having some motivation in Rock Band. Wait, and that Rocky song's not in Rock Band, is it? What? That song's not in Rock Band, is it? What? Motivation. That's a song? Yeah, it's a song by Sum 41. Oh. Shows what I know. But, yeah. Um, and Rocky Drama was cool. It was short, but it was cool. It was way too short. Way, way, way too short. Took me like three hours. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll play it on PS4 and play Rocky Drama during Extra Life. Because I haven't played it on PS4 yet. Be it on Xbox. <laughs> okay, Jared, are you still playing Forza Horizon 3? Um, yes. As am I. It is still good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I beat it. By beat it, I mean I got a credit sequence. Yeah, I just say you did not beat it then. Yeah. <laughs> I quote-unquote beat it. What percentage are you at right now? Do you remember? I do not. It, it's been it's been a few days, but I will be playing it extra life. Uh, in fact, I'll probably be doing some online with friend of the show John Anderson. Oh, you, oh, I might have to join you guys then if I'm not doing anything. Um, it's probably going to be like midnight. <laughs> well, I can still play video games after midnight. Thank you. You're not a gremlin. <laughs> Okay. Episode 111. Jared is not a gremlin. <laughs> Jeez. 
That was certainly something. Yeah, okay, that's probably not going to be one we use, but I'm putting it on the list anyway. But yeah, it's still a fun game. Um, one of my favorite racing games in a long time. At least yeah, since Forza I, Horizon 2. <laughs> I'm still not super on board with the soundtrack, though. Yeah. I mean, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I actually um, got Groove um, and made a playlist on Groove. Yeah, that was a really good feature. Yeah, that is a really good feature. Um, so... So what kind of music do you play when you drive? Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, When the Morning Comes is an awesome song to play Forza 2. And a very forgotten Smash Mouth song. It's a great song. It is a great song. I think I'm putting it on the list. On... <laughs> So, uh... But, yeah. Um, yeah. so... Still playing Dragon Quest Seven. Actually, I've kind of... Kind of at a point where I'm stuck. So I've taken a break from it. Oh, and I pretty much talked about that on Podcast 64 last night, so I'm not mm -hmm. going to go into it. 100 Foot Robot Golf. You started playing 100 Foot Robot Golf? I played it once. Eh... It was all. Oh, it's all right. It's a little too. But I thought what I played was funny. Well, of course, you... it's got the Mackle Mackle Bros, two of which are celebrating a birthday today. So happy birthday to Justin and Travis McElroy! Yay! Happy Justin and Travis's birthday to Griffin McElroy! <laughs> um, I also played a little bit of Thumper. Now, I had tried Thumper uh, out at a VR, like, demos, so... Yeah, I didn't play it in VR. I don't have VR. Did you ever get VR? No, I can't afford it. Yeah. I can't justify it. But uh, I, Thumper... I can't afford it, but I can justify it, yeah. so... Thumper, I mean, it's alright. It's hard. It's... And it's not really all that intuitive. It's cool looking, but yeah. Um, still playing Picross 3D Round Two. Um, are you still playing Overwatch, Jared? I haven't played Overwatch in like a week, so. Well, we we've it's been like how long has it been since we've done the show? Overwatch is still Overwatch. Yeah, like I said, this um. We have some technical problems, so this list isn't yeah entirely okay. Correct. Are you still playing Recore at all? No, Recore's gone. I'm done. Okay. Um, what are? You, tell me something you've been playing. Uh, it's been Shooter Season 2016, so I've been playing Titanfall 2, which is excellent. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Um, if you like giant robots and shooting stuff, it's really, really good. Yeah. Um, I bought Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Because I'm a person who likes to th see terrible things happen. Yeah. So, um, to be honest, I think that the zombies mode's really good. I haven't played the campaign, although I've heard the campaign's really good. Yeah. Uh, I, I never got into Call of Duty. All. Yes, I, I know that you don't care at all. I do it. have a copy of, I want to say, Advanced Warfare for 360 sealed in the plastic that um, I plan on giving my cousin CJ. He likes <laughs> those games. I mean, I play Call of Duty, but to be honest, I'm not one of these crazy obsessive people who, you know, yeah. right. will prestige 8,000 times to get, you know, all the virtual guns and every challenge complete. Oh, yeah. Have you been playing any more shooters? Uh, yeah, I've been. I went back and played uh, Rage on the 
360 via backwards compatibility. And is Rage still Rage? It's fit. To be honest, it's a lot prettier than I remember. Despite all the rage, you're still just a rat in a cage? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, what else have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Killer's Dead. Killer's Dead. That was also dead. added. Hmm? Killer is Dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty good. I think there's anything else. Like I said, it's kind of been just whatever. Uh, let's see, Ray. Uh, okay, keep about thinking about things. it then. Actually, give me a second. I gotta switch over to my other mic real quick. Okay, then I'll talk about Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's still Plants vs. Zombies 2. Okay. Um... I mean, I've been playing a good deal of Vase Breaker because I just love Vase Breaker. <laughs> uh, Still wish the game wasn't free to play. Yeah, I hate the pricing. And another Plants vs. Zombie game that is free to play um, that I started. Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Shouldn't this be called Plants vs. Zombies Hearthstone? <laughs> yeah. Heroes of... Yeah. Hearthstone. Heroes of Plants vs. Zombies. But... Is this, like, a new genre trend? Because Skylanders also did this for their mobile game. It's cheap and it makes a lot of money, so... Yeah, I I played it. I, I like it. I mean, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep playing it, but it is what... I didn't, I didn't stick with um, Hearthstone. I didn't stick with um, um, the Skylanders one, which I can't... Battlegrounds! Um... I mean, I, I just, I just want Plants vs. Zombies in my Plants vs. Zombies. None of this, sh n no shooter crap, no card crap, no free to play crap. I just want freaking Plants vs. Zombies. Hey, that'd be nice. I wish they'd take Plants vs. Zombies two, just seal it off, make it, a, make a console version, P slash PC version. With all, with, sure. with everything, charge like thirty bucks. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because at this point, there's there's actually a lot of content. Yeah, I mean, they have updated the shit out of that game. You know, there's been like what, like ten or fifteen updates that have added like new levels and. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I mean, yeah, kudos to Popcat for keeping that game fresh. You know, although to be honest, I mean, you know. The original was actually kept pretty updated frequently, too, which was pretty huh. nice. Well, I think the biggest update I can remember to the original is when they took out Michael Jackson. And replaced him with the disco zombie. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah, like, copyright, legal issues... Um, but anyway, Jackbox Party Pack 3. Um, and I think I also played some Drawful 2 during that time. Um, actually I played, um, Jackbox on a couple different, um, Extra Life streams this past weekend. Um, played some over at Irrational Passion stream. And some on the stream of Friend of the Show, Omniscient Shark. Twitch.tv slash Omniscient Shark. Check him out. I've also played some Jackbox over at Chingy123. Yeah, Chingy. Chingy. Chingy Leech. Chingy1337 um, on Twitch. Check him out too. Um, but yeah, I really love Trivia Murder Party. What? I said I really love Trivia Murder Party. We still have. I still haven't played it yet. Yeah. You know, if I didn't, uh, if it wasn't for elections coming in tonight, um, I I'd play some after the show, and we just lost Jared. So, um, hello
Hello? Hello? Let's check out election results so far then. Election night live! Clinton's had seven races, woo! Clinton, Clinton. Oh, they're giving her Illinois. DC, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Hello? Hello? What? Hello? 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 Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you! Can you hear me? Yes. You sound really bad. Better? Better. Okay. okay. In three, two, one, go. Okay. We're, we're rolling again. Okay. Sorry, we had to recount the... So yeah, um, Trivia Murder Party, probably the best game of Jackbox Party Pack 3. Um, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Amiibo update, we talked about it on Podcast 64. And anything else, Jared, on games? Uh, not really. Movies. Yes, I have movies to talk about. Okay. Specifically, one big movie, Doctor Strange. How is I saw Doctor Strange. How is it? Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, so. Oh, great. Now Trump's not gonna back make... up again in Florida. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so Doctor Strange, it's all right. No, it's actually really, really good. It's really all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that Ben a Stupid Dumb Name is really good in it. Mm. Con. So. Fake con. <laughs> yeah, Brit, Brit, uh, British guy. British guy, funny name. Yeah. Sherlock. <laughs> no, that's Robert Downey Jr., no, that's Iron Man. No, that's Tony Stark. I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. Personally, my favorite Stark is Graham, followed closely by Kate. <laughs> but yeah, Doc so Doctor Strange is good. Yeah, go see Doctor Strange. Okay, anything else in movies? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's about it for right now. It's, fine. it's kind of been a really mediocre week for yeah. films. Any, you got anything else? TV, food or drink, music, gadgets, cool places, internet. Uh, 
Yeah, go listen to the Forza Horizon soundtrack on Spotify. <laughs> also, um, Tabletop is back. Oh. Well, sort of. And I, it's kind of fucked up what Legendary, the owners of Geek and Sundry, as well as Nerdist, have done. They are starting this new... They have started this new service called Alpha, um, paid subscription service. And what they are doing with Tabletop, they're releasing the first two episodes on YouTube. Oh, no. And then they're doing the rest of the season on Alpha, and then they'll start releasing the rest of the season on YouTube in January. And it's like five bucks a month to subscribe to Alpha, I believe. Maybe if there's an app on Xbox, but I'm not going to subscribe before then. I don't like the fact that everything is a subscription yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I gladly... Oh, shit. Rubio won. Um, I gladly ponied up for the Kickstarter, or the Indiegogo, for Season 3. That was completely out of nowhere. <laughs> Just straight up, oh, shit. Rubio won. <sighs> we tried, Murphy. We tried. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, I should probably get out of CNN.com. <laughs> but yeah, Tabletop was good. Um, uh, first game is called Lanterns, which they originally played on Geek and Sundry's stream Game the Game, and it was actually a rematch from that stream. And it was a really good show. I really... Oh, games I forgot to add. Um, I played a tabletop game. I played Unspeakable Words with my cousin CJ. Oh, I've seen that game. I back I backed the deluxe edition on Kickstarter. So we played that and CJ won. I was ahead on points, but I was ro rolling really bad and lost all my sanity. Which is pretty much how every encounter ends up. <laughs> I'm sorry, he listens to this show. I should be nice. I love you, You CJ. suck, CJ. You suck, Jared's little brother. <laughs> he will, He doesn't listen to this, so oh. you did nothing. Oh. I'll send it on the Rock Band app. <laughs> Except my iPad is in the other room, and that's what I have the PS4 hooked up to. <laughs> um, so, yeah, nothing else on games and stuff. So let's move on to news and stuff. <laughs> I guess everything's just stuff now. Stuff and stuff and stuff. Yeah. Nintendo Switch is now a thing. That we talked about last night on Podcast 64. So go listen to that. It was, it's, uh, it was us and Matt, so we'd just be saying the same stuff we said last night. So just go listen to Podcast 64. <coughs> and January 12th can't come fast enough. Thank goodness this isn't a YouTube video. Otherwise, we'd be like, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Shall I subscribe? <laughs> Um, Xbox yeah. Preview Program, now known as the Xbox Insider Program, and it's going to be open to all who opt in. Okay. This is what it should have been from the start. Except previews are still going to be limited to those who had signed up for the um, OS previews, yeah. Are you actually in the preview program yes. at all? Yes. All right. I take it you're not? I Yeah, I've been in it for a little while. Yeah. Are you in the I was actually Are you in the H Bomb and Friends Club? We have a club. Yes. We have a club. I know we have a club. Yep. We also have a community on PlayStation 4. We do. Yeah. Okay, so Although Although Any what? other shameless plugs, Harold? Any more shameless plugs? Uh shameless plugs at the end of the show. Okay. Okay, it was just kind of on topic. <laughs> uh, Master Blaster Zero coming to 3DS eShop next year. Courtesy of Inti Creates. Who remembers Blaster Master? 
You know what? I have Blaster Master. I will play it during my Extra Life stream on Friday. Uncle Harold's Retro Game Jamboree, 2 o'clock Friday. I mean, I'm kind of excited. I never played Blaster Master, and it looks really yeah. good, so... Yeah. I think I tried it once and didn't quite understand it. I know it was an old, you know, I remember it being very hard. Yeah. Uh, the Sega Genesis is back in Brazil. Um, what? Yeah, yeah um, company in Brazil, um, Tech Toy. A new Sega Mega Drive, um, which has um, 22 pre loaded games. Alex Kidd, A Storm, Ultra Beast, Aero Flash, Bonanza Brothers, Columns, Decap Attack, E SWAT, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Game Ground, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 3, Jewel Master, Kid Chameleon, Last Battle, Outrunners, Sega Soccer, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi 3, Sonic 3, and Turbo Outrun. <coughs> Haven't these all been already released in some form, though? But it's on the freaking console, which still has a game slot like a regular Genesis or Mega Drive. Have you not seen the consoles that have all that? Yeah, but those are shit! <laughs> this I mean, is I actually guess. a company who has produced um, systems for Sega before. They're a licensed manufacturing partner. Um, so, yeah, this should be as good as any Brazilian Mega Drive. Which I don't know how good that is compared to what we got. But, yeah, from what I hear, and I did have get one of the handhelds before, the at-game stuff just sucks. But, yeah, so Brazil, you're in luck. Um, Mass Effect Trilogy added to backwards compatibility? Somebody got access to the document, because <laughs> I definitely did not put that on there. It was honor. It was all, you know. It was in honor of Mass Effect Day. Oh. No, that was yesterday. It was in seven. Yeah. Except Mass Effect. I guess uh, Mass Effect Three or Trilogy was on Wii U. Mass Effect Three was. Oh, one of those. Yeah, something was on Wii U, so <laughs> it would have been apt to talk about it. Yes, except not backwards compatibility on Xbox One. That would have just been weird. Rock Band News! Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. <laughs> um, DLC releases have been moved from Tuesday to Thursday with announcements now on Tuesday. That's just weird to me. And I think part of it was to, they said, to sync up with the weekly challenges on Rivals. Wouldn't it have been easier to sync up the challenges to the DLC schedule? Wait, I thought the challenges are on Tuesdays. No, the challenges end Tuesday, start on Thursday. Oh, they start on Thursday now? They always started on Thursday, except the first week where they started when it was released on Tuesday. But it went to Thursday. Or it went to Wednesday. It, or went to, But, yeah. But anyway... Um, so last week we got a Hootie and the Blowfish 3-pack, and a new song from Bon Jovi. Um, coming this Thursday, we have, um, She Drives Me Crazy by Fun Fine Young Cannibals, um, Love Song by The Cure, and Cindy Lauper. I could have thought that, oh, Omniscient Shark is hosting us, sweet. Anyway, um, I would have thought Cindy Lockbur track would have totally been girls, girls want, girls just want to have fun. We're getting time after time. Sweet, the way way better song. Um, still to come this month, um, Tyler Treese's favorite Avril Lavigne. Along with Bruno Mars, Coldplay, and more. Um, so, yeah. It's been a good month. 
so far for DLC. And Adam's not here, but we still have some weird news. And this weird news is actually from where I live, Lee County. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, apparently, yeah, we've got a new high school being built in down in Bonita Springs. And they asked suggestions for the name from the public. And... The number one name, Harambe Memorial High School. Jeez. Since when did Tyler move down here? Yeah, is, is Tyler going to be the uh, the principal of that school? <laughs> I want to know the slogan for that, too. Yeah. Yeah, there were at least 13 recommendations pitched to name the school after Adolf Hitler including Adolf Hitler's School for Love and Tolerance. Oh my god, this is this is the same thing that happened like with another high school. Yeah. Um I mean, um of course Benita Springs High School seem to be top names of the ones that they'll actually use. Um I mean there are some responses to um, name it after Thomas Edison or Henry Ford, um, who former winter residents here. Um, their winter homes are preserved as museums down here. So yeah, if you ever come to Fort Myers, check out the Edison and Ford Estates. And some of the other, um, uh, there were references to pop culture like Monty Python, Schooly McSchoolface. I love Schooly McSchoolface. Mm-hmm. And Hogwarts of Benita Springs. It's cool, I can bring this weird news from my own hometown. <laughs> Ain't Florida grand? Mm hmm. When I say grand, I'm in horrifying. Mm hmm. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the show. Another short show. Yeah, it's the end of the show as we know it. And I feel fine. Really? Because I feel kind of meh. Yeah, me too. Um, housekeeping. We are at hbombfriends.com and hbombfriends.lipson.com. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash hbombfriends. Twitch.tv slash hbombfriends. Twitch.tv slash kohaku233. Which hey, we need to start streaming some stuff. We do. Hey, I'm streaming right now. Hello. I said, I said I do. Yeah. Host me. I don't know. I got you on auto host. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. I was played, ar played around with it. Um, so, um, yeah. iTunes is Stitcher. Please subscribe and review. Twitter's I'm USF HBOM. Show is HBOM and Friends. Jared is Kohaku233. Don't follow me. Uh, friend and podcast shout outs, of course, our sister podcast, Podcast 64, Irrational Passions. Um, I will be on not n not this coming week, but the week after. Fantastic Neighborhood, Game Enthuse, The Bro C, 8 World News, Console Alliance, League of Heels. Um, shout out to Player One on 10 Years of Podcasting, Player One Podcast. Um, and, um, also Extra Life. I will be doing Extra Life this Friday, starting at about 6 a.m.-ish Eastern Time, going for 25 hours. Since this past weekend, it was during daylight, the switch from daylight savings. So I'm doing it at 25th hour. Um, I will be playing such games as Guild of Dungeoneering, The Beatles Rock Band, Burnout Paradise, Rock Band Blitz, um, all the Jackbox Party Packs, and Drawful 2. Um, whole bunch of retro games at 2 o'clock. Yoshi's Woolly World, Super Mario Maker, um, more Jackbox, uh, Pac-Man 256, Rock Band 4 on both PS4 and Xbox. Um, Amplitude, Journey, Forza Horizon you 3. You're playing Journey? I have never played Journey before. I bought it on sale. I haven't had a chance to play it. 
Uh, I have that around. I have that scheduled for around 10:30, I believe. Um, Forza Horizon 3, Tumblestone, Disney Fantasia Music Evolved, Rock oh, Band 4, and many more. <laughs> Uh, and so that's at twitch.tv slash hbomb and friends and support me at extra-life.org slash participant slash hprice thank you Jared no you're right you made this a hard one for me to edit so fuck you Jared <laughs> I aim to displease especially when I can which is usually always Okay, I love you too <laughs> Um, and everything is fine except for Rubio. <laughs> um, and H out. Okay, titles. Um, Price Kernop 2016, Jared is not a gremlin, and Schooly McSchool face. I don't care. H bomb and Schooly McSchool face or Price Kern up 2016. <laughs> okay. You want to do um, two? I'll do one and three. So I do H bomb and Schooly McSchool yeah. face? Okay. Okay, you're listening to H Bomb and Friends, episode 111. H Bomb and School Evening School Face. Or Price Kernop 2016. Okay. Yo, yo, yippee ko, yeah, yay. Okay, that's a wrap. Yeah, sorry about the technical problem. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, speaking of technical problems, <laughs> may have to go off a of Twitch now. <laughs> <sighs> let's let's take a look and see if we're so, let's see what happens. My Skype recorder just stopped working, so we might not have the second half of the show. Uh, That's why I no. stream on Twitch too. It's a backup. Anyway, Twitch, thank you, thank you, Shark, for hosting us. I'm not. What? I said I'm not. <laughs>